welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a full face makeup tutorial using only drugstore products. And I really had fun filming this look and it's honestly proof that you can find really amazing products at the drugstore. You don't need to be spending so much money on makeup to get really good quality because you can find that at the drugstore. And I really had fun playing around with these products and I personally love using drugstore products. So this was really fun to film. So if you guys wanna see how I got this full face makeup look using all drugstore products, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's get started on this full face drugstore tutorial. Now all the products I'm going to be using on my face will be drugstore, but the tools that I'm going to use to put them on with are not all drugstore, but they're mostly affordable. It's mostly Morphe brushes I use. They're really good, they're affordable, and I'm just really used to using them, so they're my go-to brushes. So I already did my brows. I do have an eyebrow tutorial on my YouTube channel already, so you can see how I do my brows if that interests you. But now I'm gonna prime my eyelids with this e.l.f. Cosmetics 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This concealer I actually recently discovered and it's amazing, it's so good. It's like $6, but it's full coverage and I really love it so far. So I'm gonna use that to prime my eyelids. And then I'm just gonna use a little fluffy blending brush to blend that in. And this concealer actually dries really fast. That's actually one thing I read that people complain about a lot is that the dry time is super quick, so you actually have to work really quickly when you're using it, but I don't really mind it. I love the coverage and I just find that it is really nice. Now for the eye look, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Cosmetics. A lot of e.l.f. products, they're actually really good and super affordable, and I love this eyeshadow palette. I actually never used it yet, so I'm excited to try it. This is their Rose Gold Sunset Palette, and it's super gorgeous. It looks like this. There's a lot of nice, beautiful, warm tones. Now this palette does not have the names of each shadow on them, so I'm just going to point to you guys which ones I'm using. So I'm going to start off with this beautiful mauve light pinky toned shadow, and I'm going to place that in the crease. And I'm just using a Morphe JH32 blending brush for that. This palette is also really nice because it does come with a little mirror, which is always really nice to have in a palette. And I'm just going to start placing that shadow in the crease. So far, so good. I actually really like the formula so far. It's really creamy and buttery. And for the price of these palettes, the quality is really good. There is a little bit of follow. I press my brush into the shadow, but it's nothing too crazy. And I always do my eyeshadow first, so I just like to clean up the fallen shadow under my eyes after I'm done. Okay, so we have our transition shade in the crease and it's super nice. I really like the formula so far of these shadows. They're really nice. I think I'm gonna do more of a purpley mauve look, so I'm gonna stick with those kinds of colors. And I'm gonna dip into this nice pinky purpley shade here. And I'm just gonna continue to place that in the crease. I'm going in with a smaller Sigma E25 blending brush for that as well. Okay, so we have those two colors blended in the crease and I really like how it looks so far. I kind of want to just keep it a little bit softer and I'm not going to add any more darker shades. So now I'm going to use this beautiful metallic eyeshadow. This is from JCat Beauty, a super affordable brand. And these are super gorgeous. I have a few other shades in this formula and they're so pigmented. They are like a mousse, but they do set on your eyelids really nicely. And you can use a brush, but I think I'm just going to use my fingers today. So I'm just gonna take some of that and see that beautiful champagne pink color. I'm just gonna place that on my eyelid, just with my finger. And as you can see, I'm kind of dragging that shade a little bit up, just so it blends in and it looks more seamless. I kind of want it just to look like it's smoked out. And I'm gonna use a makeup wipe to clean away all of the fallout. And now I'm going to prime my face with this e.l.f. Cosmetics Poreless Putty Primer. This has been one of my favorite primers for the past couple months. It's really good, so I'm just gonna focus that towards the T-zone. That's where I have the most pores. So I like to focus my primers 
more towards that area. Now for foundation, I'm going to use this Maybelline 24 hour foundation. This is in the shade 220 Natural Beige. So this is their Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. It comes with a nice pump, which is always a plus when it comes to foundations. And I'm just going to put some of that onto this beauty blender. And I did self tan a little bit, so my body's a little darker than my face. I think that's pretty good. So this foundation is really nice. It's full coverage and I actually really love it. So it's a really good drugstore foundation. Okay guys, so for concealer, now I'm gonna use these e.l.f. Cosmetics ones. These are really good. These are the 16 hour camo concealers. So I'm gonna actually mix the two shades, medium beige and medium peach. So the beige one is a bit more on the orangey yellow side, which is good if you have purple tones under your eyes. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of that with a bit of this lighter one, which is a medium peach. Like I said, they do dry quickly, so you kind of want to work fast with them. These concealers are so good. I just, they've quickly become one of my favorite concealers and I just love the price of them because they're so affordable. And I didn't use any ColourPop in this video because although the prices are drugstore, some people complain because you can't really find it at the drugstore yet. So I'm waiting for the day when they will be available in stores because right now I believe you can only buy ColourPop online. So I try to just keep it more simple for you guys and something that you can just go out to your local drugstore and pick up. Okay, now to set my under eyes, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna put some of that onto this little powder puff and set my under eyes. So you don't really need too much powder because those e.l.f. concealers are quite dry. So if you have more dry under eyes, I probably wouldn't even use a powder, but I just always like to. I'm just gonna let that sit under there while I do my bronzer just to let it bake a little bit. Okay, now to bronze the face, we're gonna use this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is their deep bronzer. So I believe it's a little bit darker than the original. I'm just gonna place that along the edges of my face, the chin. So now we're gonna add some blush. I'm gonna go in with one of my new favorite blushes. This is from Wet n Wild and it's called Keep It Peachy. It's like honestly so stunning. It looks like this and it's just a beautiful peachy toned blush. It's like a pure pastel peach. And I think this was literally like $4 Canadian. So it's so affordable and it's just such a beautiful blush, especially in the summertime. I just love peachy toned blushes. So I'm just gonna place some of that with this Morphe E4 blush brush. I'm gonna place some of that on the apples of my cheeks and I just like to drag it up a bit as well. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly contour my nose with a bit of that concealer. This is the e.l.f. one in medium peach and I'm gonna put some of that onto a little pencil brush. And this is the stuff that I always do, so it's the same in every video, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to the tip of my nose and along I always like to put the concealer before I put my highlighter because this just adds a nice base for that highlighter to stick onto and I just find that it keeps it looking a bit more clean. So now we're going to wipe off that translucent powder and we're going to finish this eye look by just using some shadows on the bottom lash line. So using this smaller tapered little brush, it's more a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush. I'm gonna dip into that same light pink shade that we used in the beginning, and I'm just gonna smoke that out on my lower lash line. Okay, and now with the smaller little pencil brush, I'm going in with a Morphe JH38 little pencil brush. I'm gonna dip into that other darker mauve shade, and I'm just gonna place that darker color towards more of the outer part of the eye, kind of connecting what we did at the top to the bottom. The shadows are really blendable. They're not the most pigmented shadows I've ever seen, but for the price, they're really good, and I really 
like this palette so far so I would love to know what products you guys are loving from the drugstore as well so please leave that in the comments down below because I always love to find new products so if you think that I would like certain ones or whichever ones are your favorite leave it below and I would love to try them okay so we have that eyeshadow smoked out on the lower lash line and now in the water line I'm gonna add this Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil this is in the shade 04 continuous almond it's just a beautiful nude shade this is like such an old product that I've loved for years it's like an OG product I remember when this was all the rage and it's still so good I think that they still have it because it's a really good eyeshadow pencil you could also use this as a base for your eyeshadows I love to use it in my waterline and it's a beautiful nude I'm just gonna place that on the waterline I'm also gonna pop a little bit of that on my inner corners just to use it as a little bit of a base before I add the highlighter in there I'm just gonna blend that out with this little Sigma precision round p82 brush And now with this Morphe JH41 little flat packer brush, I'm just going to go in with this L'Oreal Unfallible Pressed Eyeshadow. This is in the shade 027 Goldmine. I love this as an inner corner highlight. It's just so stunning. Okay, now to highlight the face. First, I'm going to go in with this Pixi Rose Glow Face Mist. And I'm going to just spritz my face. Okay, so we have that nice facial mist on the face and that's just gonna help the highlight stick a little bit better to the face. And I'm gonna go in with this beautiful Maybelline Master Chrome Face Highlighter. This is in the shade 100 Molten Gold and it is a beautiful golden peachy shade. It's one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. I'm just gonna place that on my upper cheekbones here. This is like a true golden highlighter, so it's really nice. If you're more fair, it might be a little bit dark for you. I'm gonna take this little brush and place it where we highlighted our nose with that concealer. Okay, now just to blend everything out, cause I kind of just packed it in roughly, I'm gonna use this Morphe M436 stippling brush. And I'm just gonna blend that into the skin. So it looks more seamless. Okay, so now for mascara, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is just in the shade Blackest Black. And I'm gonna place that on my lashes, the top ones and the bottom. This is actually a really nice mascara. It makes your lashes look super thick and long. Okay, so that mascara is now on my lashes. I really love that mascara, it's super beautiful. And of course the eye look can just be completed like this, but I am a lash fanatic and I really can't go anywhere without my lashes. So I'm gonna just pop on this pair from eBay. They were literally like $3. I know they're not from the drugstore, but they are super affordable and I've been loving these. They love to use this Duo Lash Glue, which is from the drugstore. It's about six or $7 Canadian and it's my favorite. This is the brush on one, so it's super good. I love this one. All that's left now is the lips. I'm gonna line my lips first with this lip liner from Maybelline. This is their Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade 104 Gone Grage. And this is one of my favorites as well. It's like a rosy beige color. So I'm just dragging that color over my entire lips a little bit. And I believe this is the Mega Last Wet n Wild lipstick. This is in the shade Bare It All 902C. These used to be my favorite lipsticks of all time. I remember back in the day, I would I literally stocked up on like every color they had, and I still love them to this day because they're so affordable and they're just really pigmented. And the formula is amazing. I'm gonna place this shade it's like a rosy nude shade. They're more on the matte side, and they're just really pigmented and beautiful. See what I mean? Like how pretty is that lipstick? And this is like $3 or something crazy. And then since I'm on a gloss kick, I have to add a little bit of this e.l.f. gloss. This is from their Modern Metals collection and it's such a gorgeous shade. This is called 
there's actually no name on this if i find it i'll put it in the description box down below but this is a beautiful lip gloss from their modern metals collection it's like so glittery and it's like a beautiful bronzy nude shade so i'm just gonna place some of that on my lips is totally giving me like JLo bronze vibes and I just love it okay guys so this is the final look I really love the way everything turned out I think that you can honestly get such amazing quality from the drugstore I know some people don't really like the drugstore or you just think like high-end is like the best type of makeup but honestly after trying a lot of makeup I could definitely tell you that sometimes drugstore is even better than high-end you can see we created this look using products that were honestly even less than ten dollars this whole face was super affordable and I love all the drugstore products that we use today so I hope that you guys like this full face affordable drugstore makeup look and if you guys want to see more tutorials using affordable makeup and more drugstore makeup then please let me know in the comments down below also guys don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe I love reading all of your sweet comments you guys honestly give me such motivation to continue filming and making more content you're so sweet and I just thank you guys so much for your sweet comments also don't forget to check out my Instagram Julia's Allure that is where I post a lot more makeup pictures and you guys can see some behind the scenes and also can be more interactive with me because I like to do polls to see what you guys want to see so I'd love if you guys could follow me on there as well because we can just interact more there as well so guys don't forget that I will leave all the products I use in the description box down below so guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye